course, that's Benny Afro with So Gone, one of my favorite songs to come um, from the Cape. Thank you for choosing and choosing and choosing us over and over again. Um, UXA reaches between four and five every day. I am watching the show, guys. Gugu, you are such an inspiration. Lo lots of love from Turk <laughs> Foster. And then Melika Yamziba, Gugu Ngozi, keep up the good work. There are many more people coming through the show that are doing um, awesome work, like E Helping Hand, that is giving out E Ilokwe Z10 for E Matriculants, as well as E Author Yetu Yanam that we're going to be interviewing later on. Kota Ngwogu Klasya Basikale No Anuvuyo, who is a basketball player. Baseball. Baseball player, <laughs> basketball, baseball, same thing, there are balls involved, okay? <laughs> Don't you think www.capetowntv.org is where you find most of our programming? Welcome to it. It's a Monday, hashtag XL. Welcome to it, everyone. Yes, man, welcome to it. Baseball and basketball is not the same thing. They although, are all balls. <laughs> although it involves balls, listen, we're sitting down with Anu Vuyo and Deirdre, and they're here to tell us um, more about the funding that needs to be raised for Anu Vuyo to um, go overseas and take part in a tournament. But right now, we want to know from Anubuya himself how he's feeling. Um, I know it's cold, but it's going to get hot. <laughs> how are you feeling, bro? Yeah, I can't say it. Um, is it, um, it is a uh, mixed feelings for me right now. But um, I feel honored um, and uh, the privilege to represent awesome my stuff. country. Now, you started um, actually playing baseball way back in 2015, if, if I'm correct. How has that journey been? How did everything start? Because obviously, like I always say, you don't just wake up and decide I want to start hitting balls all over the place. <laughs> no, first I started, I think in 2013, I started playing um, cricket first. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I, uh, because of, I saw baseball, was, um, they were playing with gloves and stuff. So oh, okay. in cricket, I enjoyed betting a lot. So like, yes. I saw in Pepsi are using um, gloves instead of hands, so I just um, went to, to play pace for there. Awesome stuff. And how's the, the, the journey been um, ever since moving from cricket to baseball, actually? Is there a difference between the two? Yeah, it was hard for me because um, from cricket you're holding belt down here, from baseball yes. you have to change all that things <laughs> from down here. So yeah. it, was, um, it was tough for me, but um, I adjust, then I play baseball. Of course. Now, Deirdre, I want to know from you, ever since we actually joined um, Batsuit in playing baseball and things like that, how do you think his journey has actually grown? And take us through what it is, the reason that he's actually here for, because we know he's going overseas, and where is he going, why is he going, and what do we need? Okay, Deirdre, before you answer that question, please use this microphone so that the viewers <laughs> can also hear okay, you. No problem. Right. Uh, so, Lavoie joined um, Batsuit Batsuit through Kwam Pundua. Okay. In Kailicha, and this, the, the baseball club adopted Kwam Pundua, the players from the so the journey started 2013-2014 season. Um, last year, 2018, Anavuyu made the um, Western Province side for the wow. first time. Wow. So very okay. exciting. His journey started there, basically. And so that was last year. This year, we he then also made the Cape Town baseball side. Wow. We went um, to PE. We played in the national tournament. And on the final day of the tournament, they announced the under-18 training side. Wow. And the excitement that evening when Anavui's name <laughs> got announced was, was just a momentous occasion for all of us. And they had a training side and they trained for a couple of months. And last month they went to Joburg. Yeah. And they announced the final squad after a training camp there. Wow. And so Anavui is um, one of the players from Cape Town. So it's made up of Cape Town, Durban, um, Joburg, and then there's also two overseas players that's, yes. in, that's into the team. Yes. So the team will be travelling to Korea next month. Okay. Yes, and so we're playing against all sorts of um, the rest of the world, world champions, yeah. basically, um, in, in various pools. And so our journey has just been awesome since then. Four trainings a week. Wow. And on a Saturday as well. So it's really been tough. Um, He's in matric at this point in time, so he has to balance his studies. Of course. As well as, as commit to the trainings, which is done exceptionally well. Awesome. So Speaking we, of challenges, Deirdre, you guys need to um, raise funds amounting to 25,000 rand yeah. so that um, you can attend um, the World Cup. Tell us more about that. Yes, yeah, so, so the, the once they, they get to Korea, World Baseball and Softball Confederation will cover their accommodation and, yes. and all of those things. Yes. But his uniform, his South African baseball uniform, the flights to to Korea, um, and all of that needs to be covered of in course. the twenty five thousand. Of course. And so my understanding is that baseball is kind of a self funding 
sport as well. How do people actually get in touch with you to donate? How do they donate? Is there contact details, banking details? Yes, yeah, so um, we've got, um, we're doing it via our club, uh -huh. right? So it's um, Batswood Baseball account. Um, we've got a Standard Bank account, mm -hmm. so I can pass in the details. We've also got a Facebook page, okay. Batswood Baseball Club. Um, so you can get hold of us there. Alternatively, the WhatsApp contact number is 83 Five seven double zero triple seven. Awesome stuff. And I want to know from you, Anivuyo, before we do let you guys go, how has the transition between playing for a normal club to now being part of a tournament actually going to Korea? How is that? Do you feel more motivated or is there a bit of nerves involved as well? Yeah, I can <laughs> say there's a bit of nerves because um, you're playing for South Africa. It was, um, it was a dream come true for me. So, like, yeah, I think I'm... Um, you ready? <laughs> Listen <laughs> and go to all of our Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, and you can find all of the details to the night too. There, right about now, we're taking a quick breather, and I don't even know. Where it's